What a terrifying animal that's actually harmless. Bulls. Yeah, they're 800 1,500 pounds of muscle and horns but it really depends on the breed. Our Scottish Highlander steer bull with his balls removed is a 900 pounds giant puppy with horns. I can call his name and he'll saunter up to me, lick my face and let me smother my face into his neck. He lay down with his head and horns in my lap and let me scratch and pet him for hours. Funny enough my landmate's dog who I've lived with for 12 years is a giant asshole to me. Our bull is a better dog than he is. Lizards but specifically the pink soft ones that hang above your house doors at night and oilies. I cannot explain the fear I have for them. When I was pregnant one was in my sink I heard its nails hit the metal skin across it. I still cringe when I think about how close we were for those couple of seconds. I know it can't do much but the thought of it jumping on me crawling up down my body is all that comes to mind when one is close. Literally 99.9 .9 of spiders are harmless or not dangerous to humans. I get phobias exist but it's weird to me how people can live in one area their whole life and not be bothered to learn the difference between their singular venomous spider species and a house spider that can even bite you. Not talking about Australia but learning to ID local spiders anywhere can be important. Non-venomous snakes, talking about garter, horn snakes, hog noses, and so forth. Nothing that gets super big because those can be dangerous at times although it's rare that they kill people. Another animal I think gets a lot of crap is domesticated rats. Some people don't seem to know the difference between the two. Cicada killer wasps. They're the size of your thumb and sound like a goddamn B-52 bomber flying past your face, but they're totally harmless. They don't live in colonies, so there's no division between reproductive queens and expendable workers. For example they don't sting bees. No one wants to be stung but you have to actively work to be stung by a bee. Honorable mention to whatever big ass spiders live in my house in Florida which I don't even bother anymore because they're completely harmless and run away, but holy crap they are huge. Basking shark they're around 26 feet long with a 3 foot wide mouth. They look terrifying with their mouths open, but they're actually sweet gentle filter feeders the worst that'll happen if you get too close as you might get scratched by their rough skin. Shoe Bill Stork. I love the big guys, lots of people think they are scary looking, but in fact, they are incredibly friendly and will even bow to greet you. That is one of the reasons they are being killed though. Can't have anything nice. Snakes. But I guess depending on your region location. While we have a venomous snake population in our area, majority of snakes you'll find in your backyard here are harmless and should just be left alone. Tarantulas. They seem like animals from hell but they actually don't do anything to you unless if they are provoked. Also they shoot out these hairs and if you are allergic to them then it can be lethal. Here in Africa we keep away from hippos, crocs, and buffalo. These are just plain mean creatures. Also, bull elephants and must are probably the most dangerous animals on the planet. Spiders and cockroaches I know they're usually harmless and play a role in keeping things in balance around us, but it doesn't stop the fact that they give me the creeps. According to US NOAA. Only about a dozen of the more than 300 species of sharks have been involved in attacks on humans. Most sharks are not dangerous. I know they're not animals, per se, but tarantulas are the scariest looking beasts ever. I hear they're very gentle, however. Sharks. They aren't completely harmless, but they are so much less dangerous that fiction would have you believe. Big spiders that don't have lethal venom. The ones that usually won't bite unless mishandled or absolutely cornered. Tardigrades. Look like an alien beastie, but they're microscopic and hardcore survivors. They're amazing creatures. The whip scorpion. It looks deadly, but is basically harmless to humans. Deer. All deer. Every one of them. They're menaces. Won't catch me being one. No way. Not once. Not never. Tarantalas are supposed to be relatively harmless but I'll never know because I won't go near one. Shoe bill storks look metal as fuck and I don't trust them but I guess they're cool to humans. Woodlouse spiders look like a small nightmare, but they eat woodlice bill bugs isopods. Spiders. Most of them are pretty harmless to humans, but they all look creepy as hell. Horseshoe crabs. They look so menacing if you don't know they're a harmless critter. Snakes. Sure they can bite, but if you leave them alone. They leave you alone. The Emperor Scorpion is the world's largest scorpion but not dangerous at all. Manta assholes are actually the stingrays, common confusion. Create Hanado's gangies. It's a moth species that looks like a demon. An epping cockroach, and not those tiny German ones either. Unless you live in Australia, spiders are mostly harmless. Almost anything if you give it space and leave it alone. Black house cats. 
They get a lot of undeserved hate. Most snakes. Most spiders. Murder kitty not really. Praying mantis. MF looks like he could snatch a soul.